Hello everyone, good afternoon. This is Manya Gupta, your tech host. And here are the tech updates of the day that starts with Flip the FOMO with Motorola's new Razer 50. Calcom eyeing Intel and potential game-changing chip deal. Sony announces limited edition PS5 Pro for 30th anniversary celebration. About iPhone 16 series battery capacity which is revealed now. Then about Google Chrome update introduces passkey support across devices. Amazon India expects biggest ever festival sale this year and finally about Honor 200 Lite 5G launched in India. Its key features and pricing. Talking about the quiz section, in yesterday's quiz, we asked you which cloud platform is offered by Amazon. And the answer is Amazon Web Services. So it's now time for the daily tech question. Here's today's question. What is the primary protocol used for web browsing? So are you confident you got the answer? Drop your guess in the comments below. Tune in to tomorrow's news bulletin to find out if you nailed it. So we move on to our first news that is about Motorola which is flipping the script on FOMO, fear of missing out, with its exciting hashtag flip the FOMO campaign. This initiative aimed at Gen Z turns FOMO into moments of creativity and empowerment, featuring the stylish new Motorola Razr 50. With a 3.6 inch external display, you can easily access notifications, apps and camera controls. Plus, its vegan leather and Gorilla Glass design ensures both durability and elegance. So you want it? Over 400 creators are already showcasing this Razer 50 on Instagram and you could join them. So share your FOMO flipping moments for a chance to win a Razer 50. Available on Amazon starting at 49,999, this flip phone is redefining style and tech. Coming on to our next news that is about Calcom, which is reportedly considering a takeover of Intel, according to the Wall Street Journal. While no official offer has been made yet, this move could be a huge shake-up in the semiconductor industry. Intel, once the dominant chip maker, is facing challenges, including a $1.6 billion loss and layoffs. Meanwhile, Calcom, known for leading the mobile chip market, recently re-entered the desktop processor game with Microsoft's AI PC strategy. If this deal goes through and clears regulatory hurdles, it could accelerate Calcom's expansion into new sectors, potentially redefining the future of tech. We have another news. To celebrate its 30th anniversary, Sony has unveiled a limited edition PS5 Pro in nostalgic PS1 style. Announced via a special video, this collection features exclusive DualSense, DualSense Edge and PlayStation Portal accessories. The PS5 Pro bundle includes a vertical stand, charging station and DualSense Edge controller, all designed to evoke the original PlayStation look. Limited to just 12,300 units, the bundle launches on November 21 with pre-orders starting on 26 September. Additionally, Sony has also introduced a PS5 Slim Digital Edition available with a matching disc drive cover. The collection includes themed accessories such as cable ties, stickers and posters. Pre-order for the PS5 Slim began on October 10 and prices for the collection are yet to be revealed. Moving on to our new section, Apple's iPhone 16 series launched earlier this month is boasting improved battery life. While Apple doesn't typically disclose battery size, certification by Brazil's Anatel agency has revealed that all four models, iPhone 16, 16 Plus, 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max, they feature slightly larger batteries than their predecessors. For instance, iPhone 16 Pro sees a 9% increase in battery capacity, while the others show a 6% increase. Combined with the new A18 and A18 Pro chips and enhanced thermal optimizations, the iPhone 16 series promises longer usage times, including up to 4 extra hours of video playback on the Pro models. This bump in battery life ensures users will experience now more time between charges, particularly when watching videos or listening to some music. Moving on to Google Chrome, which is rolling out a new update, making it easier to sign into Google accounts across multiple devices. The update introduces Google Password Manager with PIN code support for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and soon iOS. This update allows users to sync their passkeys on desktops and Android devices. Passkeys, a secure login method, use public key cryptography for authentication, providing enhanced security over traditional methods like SMS codes, with end-to-end -end encryption, even Google cannot access the build. This cross-device feature makes logging in more convenient and secure.
Moving on to Amazon, Amazon India is gearing up for its Great Indian Festival 2024, set to begin on 27 September with early access from Prime members. The company anticipates record-breaking sales this year, especially with rising demand from Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities. According to Saurabh Srivastava, VP categories at Amazon India, this year's event could surpass last year's numbers due to strong consumer momentum and growing Prime memberships. With 16 lakh sellers on board, Amazon plans to offer over 25,000 new products and exclusive deals, particularly in home appliances, fashion, beauty and rapidly growing Amazon Fresh category. Srivastava emphasized the importance of faster deliveries, competitive pricing and a vast product selection to meet consumer needs nationwide. Last but not the least, Honor has introduced the Honor 200 Lite 5G in India featuring a 108MP triple rear camera and a 50MP front camera for impressive selfies. Powered by a MediaTek Dimensity 6080 chipset and a 4500mAh battery with 35W fast charging, the phone runs on Android 14 based Magic OS 8.0 priced at 17999 The phone offers 8GB RAM, 256GB storage. Available from 27 September on Amazon, Honor's website and select stores, SBI cardholders can avail of a 2,000 rupees discount, lowering the price to 15,999. The phone comes with Cyan Lake, Midnight Black and Starry Blue. Key features include a 6.7-inch AMOLED display with 2,000 nits, brightness, 5GB connectivity and SGS drop resistance. So this was all for today. We will again meet tomorrow. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to ITVoice. Thank you.